Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you a quick little tip. So I was cutting out this little bottle opener out of a block of aluminum on my Sphinx CNC machine here. Uh, and what ended up happening was my part got a little bit too hot toward the end, broke off the glue, and also ended up welding a bunch of aluminum to my end mill. Now, typically this would mean you would likely have to throw this away uh, and buy a new one, but I'm going to show you a quick tip as to how to salvage this. So let's get this out of here and go over to my fume hood. And we're at the fume hood, so if we look at the actual bit, you can see there's a fair bit of material welded on here. And this is, this is actually physically welded, it's not just kind of conforming to the contours of the bit itself. So what we're going to do is use a little chemistry trick. What I have here in the back is hydrochloric acid. Typically it's used for etching circuit boards, copper, and aluminum. So what we have here is a bunch of aluminum stuck onto a carbide end mill. So what we're going to do is just measure out a couple milliliters of hydrochloric acid, just enough to cover the portion of the bit that has the aluminum molded on. That should be enough. And then take our drill bit and just drop it in there. So what's happening here is the hydrochloric acid is reacting with the aluminum creating hydrogen gas and aluminum chloride. This is going to go on for probably about a minute. You can see some fairly vigorous bubbling happening in there. Uh, yeah. I'll get back to this as soon as this is done. All right, we're back. So it's been a couple of minutes. The reaction is mostly complete. You can see it's still fairly cloudy with uh, very small micro bubbles. And there's some aluminum particulate floating on the surface there. But this is mostly finished. So what we can do is take this and dump it into this beaker that I have here, which is filled with sodium bicarbonate, just baking soda and water to neutralize the acid that's remaining there. We're just going to dump it right in. There we go. Um, stir it around and fish out our now clean, pristine end mill. As you can see, there is no damage to it. The coating is still good, and all the aluminum is gone. There. Hopefully, that'll save you thirty or forty bucks.